not with this dress on. I don't like this dress. I don't want to be caught in something ugly. What? Okay, guys. So, got the GTX 560 here from uh, Zotac. Sorry, in the system and running. And uh, we're gonna do a quick firmware test here. See how hot she gets. So I got a hardware monitor running, which will tell us our temps, which says. 36 is the high, we're just going to clear that, there we go, 33, it's roughly 24 degrees in here, give or take a degree or two, also got speed fan running, also got a fire mark here, an EVGA, so we're going to run a stress test, just see what we get. So test has been running 30 seconds now, and we're already at 57 degrees, 58 degrees, and I think we're going to do a 5 minute test. Also the fan is at 100%, uh, I know it says 25 there. Uh, just going to turn it off auto here. There we go. Put that back. There we go. Now it's manual 80%. Uh, this video card it won't go to 100. Um, don't ask why. EVGA goes to a max of 80. Uh, which is a RPM of 4650 up to 68 at 1 minute and 20 seconds. So we're going to do, I would say, a five minute test. I would do longer, but it would probably, <laughs> probably end up frying. It's almost at frying temperatures now. I also have a in-case temperature, which is right there, that little hanging thing. Fan back there, fan here, and the fan in the front, and then power supply's got a fan. So. Inside case temp has went up 8 degrees, it was uh, 24 when I started, sorry up to 33, yeah. uh, so let's see here, we're up to 72 degrees, still going up. Um, I can't stop shaking, camera's having issues, uh, there we go, 73, that's not too bad, I guess, that's pretty warm, and this is in Celsius, uh, judging by the bar graph, it is still coming up slightly. Oh, there's 74. And uh, this card is not overclocked at all. This is all stock. Just so you're aware. Oh, there's 76. Do you know what? Uh, maybe, yeah, we'll let this go on for uh, 10 minutes, I guess. What the hell? We'll do a 10 minute test on this one. 
probably going to get a little toasty, but that's okay. Okay, so at 10 minutes we've hit 82 Celsius. Temperature has been slowly going up, but... Um, yeah, you can imagine how warm it would be if I stress test the CPU with it. Because inside the case it's still at 35 degrees, which is... Wow, amazing. Um, oh, there you go. Well, we're already up to 83, but that's all testing we're going to do on this. Um, so, do you know I'll leave this running. So, over here, I got the, if I can get the glare out of, out of it, Accelero Extreme Plus. Um, this is not the two or the three, this is the single number one. Uh, so I got that. It doesn't come with any RAM heat sinks or anything. So I also had to get this accessory box, which is for 460, which came with those parts. Came with uh, a bunch of different heat sinks for RAM and voltage, uh, like the power rail on the video card, everything like that. Also came with a new plate to fit the 460, plus some mounting screws. So I got to install that on there. Um, another thing it came with was a thing of glue to glue all the heat sinks on. But anyways, we'll go back over here. So 83 degree, 84 right there degrees, and that was in 12 minutes. So we are now gonna stop this. And take the time to put that new bad boy on there with those RAM sinks. It's gonna take about an hour because the manual says about an hour to cure, and we'll see where we stand. And uh, over here, there you go, 84 degrees, 84. 33 was the starting temp, and the CPU is up at 47, and it's only using 25% of the processor to run this. Anyways, I'm going to install that stuff, and then I will come back and finish this video. Okay, guys, so, I got this bad boy on here. Um, I actually had to modify it. I had to cut some of the fins off and pull them off and bend that pipe over because it was going to hit my video. But I did get it bent without breaking the pipe, which means all the gases are still in. Everything still, still looks good, so, uh, I think I'm good to go for a test run. Just had to cut out that little corner and bend that pipe. This is uh, the Zotec 460 with the Accelero Extreme Plus. So, I'm going to slop that in there. I also had to move a hard drive and whatnot. But I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, guys. So, I got the new cooler in there. It's all done, hooked up, spinning. Got all the settings and windows the same as the last test. Uh, fan speed's at 80%, current GPU temp is 27, CPU's 34, uh, current inside temp is 28, it's been running for about 5 minutes, just sitting there idling. Uh, yeah, and everything else I believe is the same, uh, Fan RPM is supposed to go up to 2000 on this thing, but it seems like the video card just doesn't have the power to bring it up to 2000, so we'll only do 1500 max. And let's it go on Firmark. There you go, 40 degrees. 41 42 ok 
Okay, so we're going to give this uh, 10 minutes like the last test and see where it's sitting by then. Okay guys, so after 10 minutes, there you go, we had uh, 53 degrees. And I believe that's our max temp so far. Yeah, right there. 53 degrees at 1500 to 1530 RPM. And to show you over here, CPU's at 43, motherboard 41. And it's still going. And uh, case temp went up one and a half degrees. So, uh, yeah, that, that cooler is definitely doing what it's supposed to. I'm liking it. But anyways, guys, that's been a review on the Accelero, Accelero Extreme Plus. Have a good day.